Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to the channel um, of the Intelligentsia Cup, which you're watching in Elgin, Illinois. Um, I don't know exactly which direction we traveled to get here. Northwest, I believe. Um, but a little cool community, a nice little uh, technical and a little tough course. Uh, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead uh subscribe to the channel so you can get all the videos you like uh, i have tons of videos already uploaded and i will continue to upload new videos as i race so uh, if you watched the race yesterday you saw that i missed a break early and today um look it's going again straight from the gun so the masters feel is pretty interesting because uh, it's pretty lopsided when it comes to um like how many riders can actually ride really hard um it's not it's not uh it's not pretty even across the board so you just got to be careful and it's funny um marco Lydia from texas roadhouse is the one who initiated this initial break right off the right off the gate the starting line and as you can see uh we're moving i didn't get a chance to really preview the course i did one lap right here um and I didn't take it at speed and so on this turn on the first lap uh, that, that turn was pretty intense and then uh, it's pretty much uphill uh, from the bottom of that turn all the way to the finish which from here is about uh, about maybe 250 meters um, and so yeah that group is going and to be frank with you Steven Salazar uh, who's on Method 20 my teammate is in that group and you know this is this is a guy who who works hard for the team always sacrifice himself and so yeah that group is pretty big it's not the numbers you want um but you know i wanted him to have an opportunity unfortunately that group uh blew up and, and riders were coming back people were kind of playing games and it went from nine guys to six guys down to four guys um right in front of me is Jade. Jaden uh, lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin area, and came down, and uh, he's known to be a powerhouse that could uh, ride the front for a long time. So um, once we lost Steven in the break, uh, Jaden got on the front. I just followed, and I don't know, maybe four or five laps um, on the front. He rode tempo and got the group close enough for me to... Uh, jump across uh, we didn't have any words I think he just knew that that was going to come um, that he would get it close enough where at least I felt comfortable and, and on my skill set that I could uh, use my power and my skill of uh, cornering to to go across um, so yeah that's pretty much what I did and this is pretty early in a race I would say within the first 15 minutes um, we're on the front well, I'll say he's on the front. I didn't take one pull um, as as that break was coming back. Uh, fortunately, you know, lucky enough to have Jaden in the Midwest, and, and he came over to Chicago to race with us uh, to give us some extra horsepower. Um, tactics totally changed with him in the race. You know, uh, if it was just up to Sally and I, um, we have to be extremely attentive, and we're, we, we can't set tempo like this. That's not our riding style. Um, and so yeah very fortunate to have him so yeah nothing really too exciting he's just riding tempo and i know some of you like the heads up display but it just takes a long time and i'm i'm still racing here so i'm just doing just a straight video so there it is he got me close this is the hardest part of the course which is the uphill and as you can see i'm going pretty fast and the group is not motivated at all so it was kind of like a a wasted effort to be honest with you um because the group saw us coming and they pretty much stopped going full gas and you can see how fast I went across to the move. I mean, I wasn't going slow. That was definitely over 30 miles an hour up over the hill, but um, they weren't motivated. So and this is actually a good break. Look, two Texas Roadhouse guys um, and then the Monster Media rider is actually 50 plus. So you can see his number has blue on it and the blue is another age group so he's in the driver's seat also a local uh randall randall coxworth uh we spent some of his time in california as well so um we know each other pretty well when it comes to racing and to be honest with you we were 
uh, quietly kind of not necessarily helping each other but like he was in the driver's seat for 50 plus and he really had nothing to lose at this point because if we stay off the front we've got it all sewed up um the unfortunate part of this break was just the negative riding um by abd i mean they had three riders in the break and they could do their own tactics i'm not you know mad at that but it's like uh, a little frustrating um to have so many people in a break and it's just pretty negative so um anyway it was still a good group uh the, they end up having i think three three riders in the break um and this was pretty much how the group was going it was like i, I don't know it's, it's just uh, <laughs> i don't know what to think about it um but you know I, I was at the point especially after yesterday I, I was at the point where i just wasn't going to let things like that slip by so i fast forward it because we end up lapping the field so what you see now is the rest of the field that this this group absolutely blew up within the first like six seven laps um and then if you look at my rear camera it's starting to fall off again so yesterday i lost it and today uh, it's coming off so here I am trying to grab it in this really fast corner and I finally get my hands on it and take it off and I stick it inside of my jersey so unfortunately for the rest of the race you will not have that rear facing camera so after lapping the field uh, some of the riders who lapped actually went through the field right now Jaden is on the front just kind of turning the screws and he's definitely going to get a reaction from everyone um, even lap riders. He's, I mean, he's one of the strongest riders, if not the strongest rider in the group. So when he moves, everyone moves. As you can see, he's got a little gap and, and people are going uh, pretty hard to try to catch him. Uh, here's Adam. Adam. Adam said he had the worst race of his life right here. He's, you could just tell he wasn't really into it. Maybe a little fatigue, but um, he stayed on the front a little bit until uh, I was like, man, I don't know if he's going to close this gap or not. So had to go around kind of put myself on a pinch right there taking a bad line and that chicane uh lost a lot of speed but this is a downhill that you can use and later in the race you will see why this point right here was pretty pivotal for me um this corner was extremely fast uh i wish i really do wish i had the speed up there um we're probably even on slow laps we're probably going like 32 33 and on fast laps like that one uh that was definitely like upwards of 30 37 38 39 um so yeah the groups come back and then here's another attack you know and this is what bike racing should be this is what it should be all about right not the sit up uh take guys to the corner and all it, it's like just race and and i think that was that towards the end of the race this is where we're at so if you just missed it that's nine laps to go and um Randall gets back on the front to keep the pace going. I'm kind of like looking around, and I didn't know that Jaden wasn't back on at this time. Um, but as soon as I said that, he just came out of nowhere and got back on the front and chased the group down. So here's another solo attack. Uh, again, uh, ABD has three riders in the move. So, I mean, do you want to go to the line with me? Probably not. So these are good tactics. But, you know, the last two days has been some of those days where I just you know the legs are good and I think uh, with the help of, of a few others and now I have teammates it, it's going to be really difficult for I think riders to ride away from us um, everyone's feeling pretty good so I actually just I didn't even want to like counter here I just wanted to keep the pace high and maybe try to take a few guys with me um, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately I go off the front and uh, I establish a huge gap at this point um, I looked down, I was doing like 700 watts, 30 plus miles an hour, and I was like, okay, maybe that was a little bit too hard. Uh, who, who's going to want to follow that? So, yeah, man, I, um, I, I get off the front, and it's like eight laps to go, and I'm thinking in my head, can I really ride eight laps on this course? And I have to be honest with you, the first lap and a half, I felt really good. I was like, maybe I could ride eight laps on this course. Um taking the corners pretty smooth not losing speed uh using the downhill to recover um i was like i felt like i was doing all the right things to ride uh, a lot of laps off the front and that's a huge gamble because if they are just let me sit out there and then they chase me down with like two laps to go my, my race is completely over so 
this was a huge, huge, huge gavel for me that, you know, I don't like to second guess myself, but after about two laps in, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. You know, it's a, it's a pretty demanding course and I, I started to lose a lot of speed. So anyway, I fast forwarded through the pain of all this and uh, I got caught uh, two laps later. Um, so they're catching me now. I see that they're only about three seconds behind me and there it is, six laps to go. So I move far left because I'm like, I need to see what's going on. Somebody's going to attack. And to my surprise, no one moved. Like, <laughs> if I was in their shoes, I don't care if I'm hurting. I'm going off. It's like the, 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 the fastest guy in the group just spent two and a half laps off the front. I'm definitely attacking him. But it didn't happen. They allowed me to recover. And uh, I'm pretty sure they regretted that. So... After we lapped the field, we did have some intermingling of riders that that got lapped because now there is another break. So we lapped the field, we go through the field, and now there's another break. Um, here's another attack, um, and which is an interesting place to attack. You're not, you can't go too fast through that chicane right there. So um, it was an interesting place to attack. Um, because it's a place where not many people are going to chase you through through the chicane. So um, actually a, a really interesting and, and good good place to go. Uh, thank God for these for these two guys because they were actually lapped. Um, and, and maybe they have motivation uh, to, to get, I guess, we had seven guys to get in the top ten. So it was in their, their best interest for this group to stay off the front um, if they're in the 40-plus because they could slide in the top ten because seven guys already lapped um, so as you can see he grew a massive gap and as I was thinking all right which part of the course am I gonna attack and go go across to him uh, because it's only two laps to go um, here comes Jaden and he gets on the front which was perfect timing so we brought him back and we are now looking at one lap to go Randall's on the front uh, for Monster Media like I said he's in another age group so he's got his win locked up already um, and there we have Texas Roadhouse which has Marco and Lydia as their sprinter Jaden is in third uh, one of the white brothers in front of me and I'm riding fifth of course um, behind me are another I don't know four guys uh, including Marco who is a sprinter um, and including uh, one of the other brothers I don't know which one is which one we're racing to be honest with you so at this point, I'm just uh, paying attention. As you can see, Jaden is also looking over his shoulder, seeing what's going on. Um, and we're approaching the chicane. Um, I didn't expect uh, any, anything to go uh, before this chicane, but I did expect something to go after. And I kind of played myself right here because I should have stayed left, but the group slowed up and I went right. Now my right tire is on the inside and there's the attack. So I just kamikaze on the right side right here. This was a line I only took one time in the entire race. And at this point, I was out of the saddle sprinting into that turn. And it was the fastest I've gone. And at this point where I hit this corner right here, I knew that that two shorts uh, came in my head. It's time to go. Mm -mm -mm. You better get up out my face. It's time to go. So, yep, that was it. Threw down some serious watch um, for this one. Uh, I was a little frustrated with it myself. I didn't even celebrate. I just wanted to cross the line, uh, hop on the podium, and get out of Dodge. So, yep, happy with the result. Finally got one. Thanks for watching.